morning. Thanks for coming out. Uh, good to see you. It was uh, more than a year ago that the University of Charleston began a visioning process. Uh, we'd experienced a decade of wonderful growth, and we wanted to decide what should we do over the next five or seven years. Uh, we were aware of the real and perceived cost uh, challenges that higher education face. And we wanted to be certain that we continue to meet the needs and the interests of students and of the region where we're located. So five years from now, what do we want to be doing at the University of Charleston? And we want to create a new face for the university. First uh, is our emphasis on fast track learning. To address the issue of cost of attendance, we have created a curriculum that allows students to move through that curriculum more quickly and graduate early. Currently, 35% of the students who come to the University of Charleston and stay either complete their uh, degrees within less than four years or move into graduate school in less than four years. Now that addresses the issue of cost. If you replace a year of tuition with a year of income, you may in fact have four years, the equivalent of four years of uh, tuition with a net cost of zero. And that is a shocking possibility and reality that talented and motivated students at UC experience. The second area of emphasis for us is to uh, pursue athletic prominence. We want students who are here to have a wonderful campus-based experience. And as we all know, intercollegiate athletics is a part of that experience. We now have renewed the momentum and commitment to build an $18.5 million sports and fitness center. This fitness center will serve athletes, it will serve student trainers, it will serve scholars, and it will serve fans, and it will serve uh, the Charleston community. We also believe that we need to uh, turf Triana Field so that we can have more competition on that field. We would like to add in sometime in the next three, four, or five years, women's lacrosse and perhaps other sports to what we are doing at UC. We have a commitment to want to excel in basketball. We want to be competing every year in the men's and women's national championship tournament uh, in basketball. The third area of emphasis as we move forward is to champion innovation. I believe that uh, West Virginia and our region could benefit from having more economic drivers and having more innovation in the region. We believe that uh, we can create a program that will require every student at the university to demonstrate their capacity for creative thought and for inventive behavior. And while we are encouraging innovation on the part of students, we want to model it as a university. Uh, so we can model that through system redesign projects that we are going to initiate. And we hope that through this study of how we do what we do, that we will find ways to reduce the cost of operating the institution and then be able to pass those reduced costs on to students. Another area in which we want to uh, exercise and model innovation is our Farm UC. Students in the School of Pharmacy are giving direct patient assistance. Uh, they are providing counseling and monitoring for city employees right now about their health care. Uh, we envision expanding that to other businesses where we will provide counseling and health care monitoring and screening for their employees, helping the city and helping those businesses reduce the cost of health care. What it does for us is that it introduces a very clear focus on our students being prepared to be providing services to patients and serving them rather than serving pills. And so we want a patient focused uh, emphasis within the curriculum uh, and within the pharmacy that's in the School of Pharmacy. 
fourth area of emphasis moving forward is to expand access to the university. Uh, students want and need educational opportunities. How can we help them have access to those educational opportunities? We will offer a future scholars academy so that students in middle schools and high schools can come here during the summer and uh, prepare to go to college, can strengthen their skills through that summer work so that when they do attend college that they are more successful. Uh, we also uh, want to make the processes simple for students who are graduating from community colleges to be able to come to the university and attend here and complete their four-year baccalaureate degrees at the university. And so we're going to reach out to those students in community colleges to assist them in that process. The other uh, initiative that we are taking that uh, is really noteworthy, we can address the perception that a private college education is out of reach just by reducing tuition. But the University of Charleston is placing a cap on tuition that no student next year will pay more than $19,500 to be a full-time undergraduate student at the University of Charleston. What this means for new students is that we have reduced our tuition by 22% for an incoming student over what we were charging this year. What it means for returning students is we are guaranteeing each returning student that he or she will have UC financial aid of at least $6,000. So tuition for returning students will be listed as being $25,500. We will give them at least $6,000 in aid. Uh, if they have more than that now, they will have more than that next year. Uh, and so that $6,000 in aid brings their total uh, costs down to 19,500 that we're guaranteeing also as the maximum for entering students. We're doing this because for too long middle class families have said higher education, particularly private higher education, is out of our reach. And we want to make a bold statement of saying no, it is not out of your reach. For less than $20,000 a year in tuition you can be a full-time student at the University of Charleston, one of the highest ranked uh, collegiate institutions in the southern part of the United States. And you can use scholarships, grants and aid, and need-based assistance to reduce your costs even further. Why are we taking these initiatives? Well, I ask Ryan Moran to be here. Ryan, thanks for coming. Uh, because we're doing this for Ryan and doing this for other students. Ryan is a senior from Brewston Mills, West Virginia, majoring in public policy and business administration. He served on the committee that initiated many of the ideas that you are hearing uh, this morning. Uh, he was a senator in the Student Government Association and has also been a peer educator. He has a 4.0 grade point average and is now the president of the very active and nationally competitive Students in Free Enterprise Group. He has just successfully competed to be one of the students selected for interviews for a Rhodes Scholarship. And he will interview for that next week, two weeks, in uh, Philadelphia. And so we will uh, cheer him on. What it's all about for us is students. How do we help students like Ryan or um, Ryan? Yeah, right. How do we help students like Ryan Moran uh, come to the University of Charleston, experience uh, our educational opportunities, and then graduate uh, successfully? So what we are doing is opening a bit wider the doors of the University of Charleston to students like Ryan, so that they can come. They can come and have a wonderful uh, campus experience. They can come and learn to create new ideas while they are also learning old ideas. And they can graduate early. We're taking bold steps to address the concern about the cost of higher education and to assure that we continue to meet the interests and the needs of students and of the people in our region. 
and I'll be happy to answer questions and clarify or to give you uh, additional details one-on-one. -on -one. Any collective questions? I know you tend not to do that. So. Thanks for coming. I'll be happy to answer things to you one-on-one -on -one and tell you why we're doing what we're doing and what it means.